In this example, we're going to import and then deploy the Active Directory integration pack for System Center Orchestrator 2012 SP1. Right click on integration packs and say register IP with the orchestrator management server. So this is now going to make it available to the single instance of the management server. So it can then be deployed to our runbook designers and our runbook servers. So I've already downloaded and extracted the OIP file that makes up the Active Directory integration pack. I click next, finish, accept the end user agreement. And it's now done a refresh. And now I have activities for Active Directory. The next step would be now to deploy this to both my runbook designers and my runbook servers. So if it's the same server, it's actually already going to be available in the local runbook design and runbook server. However, I would just say deploy IP to runbook server or runbook designer. I say which ones I want to deploy. So I've already deployed the others. So Active Directory. I can then browse and see the machines I have available to me. So in my case, it's local. Or I could maybe deploy it to my remote runbook designer that runs my workstation. And I'll also do it to my local box. I can say stop all the running runbooks before I install this. I'm not going to schedule it. I'm going to do it straight away and done. So we're now deploying it to my server and we'll deploy it to my workstation. And I'm done. And I can now see my runbook designer. As is my runbook server. And that's really how easy it is. And now if I actually fire up my runbook designer, I can see I now have that active directory set of activities available to me. This concludes this quick video on deploying an integration pack.